Um, the last time I went ice skating, I had no idea from the outset, at outset that it would turn out to be like a moral battle between woman and ice because that's what it was. And so um, how it all started was with like a Facebook invitation and it was for this thing that was all like, oh, U.S. Student Council winter extravaganza or some flashy title like that. But one of the attractions that they would have was like um, a faux ice rink. And I was like, you know, that sounds really cool and awesome because like I've never been ice skating in my life, being a desert dweller, obviously. So um, the day came, and I waited all day until 6 p.m., and I made my way to the alumni plaza, and they had like all these snow machines going, like fake snow machines. I don't know what they were actually were. Like, I think they were soap suds or something. And I was like, all right, this is moderately festive. And I go and look at the ice rink, and it's like this big, white, glimmering ice rink. And I'm like, all right, this is going to be awesome. Then I look a little closer at it, and I'm like, something's not quite right here. Like, you know those little plastic, or not plastic, but foam interlocking puzzle pieces that you would normally find on like a toddler's, like the floor of a toddler's playroom? It looked like the ice rink was literally made of those, like not foam, but just like these pieces, and they just sprayed a layer of faux ice on top, and I'm like, okay, that might be kind of questionable, but you know, this could still be fun. So then I look around for the line, and I mean, of course, it's three miles long because it's probably full of Arizonans. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm already here, I'm gonna wait, and it's probably gonna be awesome. So I wait for about 30 minutes, and I finally get my ticket to skate, and they're, they're like, oh, it's only for 15 minutes. I'm like, that's half the time I've been waiting, but you know what, I'm gonna make this really awesome. It's gonna be really awesome, it'll be worth it. So I go to the area where they have a, um, like, you pick out your skates, and you lace them up. So I pick out my skates, and I lace up like this intricate cat's cradle of grimy laces. And then I stand up, and then immediately I know that something's wrong because I don't know how long it, I don't know how it just came to me in that moment, but I was standing on these two tiny blades that were literally like an inch wide. And I kind of got terrified for my life right then. But then like all these people around me, they just started like going right out onto the ice and they were gliding around like no problem. And I'm like, okay, it probably won't be that bad. So I put one foot on the ice rink and like my heart starts racing and I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die out here. But then I'm just like, I'm just like looking around and like I'm the last one there and I'm just like, there with one foot on the ice and like clutching the fence and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta I gotta do this, I can't back out now because like all these people are gonna think I'm totally weird. So I put the other foot on the ice and it's it's really terrifying. So I have to grab like they have this like tiny rickety little fence around the edge and I grab onto this and it starts like shaking and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna fall over in front of all these people and probably break my face and it's gonna be awesome. So I just start, I just start like inching along and it's like weird, awkward shuffle because I actually literally don't know how to roller, how to ice skate. I mean, I assume that it's kind of like roller skating, but I'm really bad at that too. So I'm kind of hopeless at ice skating. So, I mean, as all these people from like probably Maine or Wisconsin or somewhere who came down to the U of A, they all know how to ice skate. And they're just like skating circles around me and like turning triple lutzes or whatever, like not not literally, but you know, you get the feeling that they can just like, you know, do that at any second. And I'm just like inching along, holding the fence like an old lady with a walker and I'm like, wow, I look totally awesome. I look so awesome here. And so um, somehow I make it around once just all the time, just inching along, just like, oh, don't mind me, just, oh, sorry, could you move your elbow so I can, like, hold on to this fence and stay alive, and <laughs> somehow I, I make it around a couple times, and I'm like, okay, I guess this isn't terrible, and then they, like, blow that horn for us to come back in, and there's maybe, like, five feet left, so I'm like, you know, to hell with it, I'll just, I'll just let go of this fence and skate back in, and then all these people started cheering me, like, woo! because everyone knew I was like that girl who literally couldn't skate and I'm like yeah and so I made it back to land alive in one piece and the lesson I got from this was that um, I won the battle against skating and ice skating lost but I'm still terrible at ice skating so it won the war Ooh.